My name is Kim McBrien Evans, and I'm a lifelong textile artist who's tried it all. Starting with liberal doses of dyeing yarn and fabric, knitting, spinning, and designing, I've also tossed in some arts management, teaching, and social media consulting. Now more than 80% of my customers are outside the country. I want to give you three tips based on my own experience about shipping and customer service to help prepare you for exporting abroad. Here's my first tip. Make shipping easy. Shipping your work can be easy and efficient if you lay the groundwork and develop tools to help you. Who are you going to use to ship your work? Canada Post, FedEx, UPS, and other shipping carriers all have different levels of service and convenience. Determine what works best for you and your customers. In most cases for us, Canada Post has worked well. I can look up rates quickly to quote to my customers. I have integrated my small business account with Canada Post with my PayPal account for combined small business discounts that have given me the best shipping rates for my work that I've been able to find anywhere. I can offer customers different levels of shipping service. Fast, slow, insured, not insured. It all depends on their comfort level, what they're willing to pay, and the risk they're willing to take. Shipping labels and custom forms themselves? They can be filled out and printed online through the Canada Post website or PayPal, taped to the packages, and dropped off at the nearest post office without waiting in line. Harmonized System Codes, or HS Codes, are the internationally recognized way to help customs officers around the globe categorize your work. Knowing these codes and entering them on custom forms will help your work clear customs more efficiently. These are easy to reference online. Whether you ship using an online source like Canada Post or PayPal, or whether you're filling out custom forms at the post office, it's worth your while to make a list of the HS codes that apply to your work. In the written transcript of this talk, you'll find three current websites to help you research and plan shipping. You are a small business and likely doing much of this work yourself. Develop a shipping policy that reflects that. Determine whether you'll offer customers uninsured and insured rates to choose from. I offer both, with the clear understanding that if uninsured is chosen, I'm not responsible for loss or damage once the package is shipped. And yes, I get that in writing. Shipping supports your work, but isn't your work. In five years, I've lost exactly one customer out of thousands because of shipping costs. Customers will adapt in order to have your work in their hands. 